Since I have been at Louisiana College, I have never lost a ping pong tournament. I have won the last three tournaments and now looking to win a fourth. For two of those tournaments, I defeated my biggest rival, Wade Simmons. So, being at LC the last three years, there's been uh, a multitude of events to, uh, to play in here involving intramurals. And being the natural athlete that I am, I've uh, competed in almost every single one of them and almost even won in almost every single one of them but the ping pong tournament. The ping pong tournament has been the one event I have not seemed to win here at LC yet. There's even a little place on my shelf in my room for the trophy that's it's empty. I just feel like there's something missing there. I just can't seem to get over the hump yet. So the last three years, I've been the runner up in the tournament. Um, I lost to Matt twice the last two years. Uh, I think one year he swept me in the finals. The next year he, uh, we went to a third game. So this year, it really means a lot if I can finally take him down and earn the trophy I feel like I've deserved the last four years here. So I have won the last three ping pong tournaments at LC, and for two of those I did defeat Wade in the finals. Now, Wade wins like every intramural sport but ping pong, so I can understand why he gets re-inspired every year, even though he loses to me, to beat me this year. And he's worked so hard for this particular tournament. But this is like the only thing I win. So of course, I want to win this tournament as well. And I'm determined to win this tournament because at this point in time, I know that this will be my last tournament at Louisiana College and I don't want to lose it. I want to win it. I won't let them have it. I won't go down without a fight. This will be a battle. This is going to be intense. This is going to be great. But at the end of it, just as my YouTube rival, Bailey Broom, would say. And who's going to come out on top? I'm going to come out me. on top. Before this final battle can even take place, we both have to get to the finals, which would mean defeating tough opponents like Caroline and James Harden. Before every tournament, I scope out the competition. <laughs> that laugh. I stretch, I clean the rubber on my paddle, and I drink a Red Bull. And now, I'm ready to play. Before the tournament at all, we were training in the game room. Matt uh, called me one day before he was about to show up and said, hey man, do you want a Popeye sweet tea? And if you know Matt, you know he loves it some sweet tea. I said, sure, I'll take some sweet tea. So he brought me a sweet tea from Popeye's. Him and James showed up, we played some ping pong. And that day, I think I went 4-0 or 5-0 against Matt. And I was thinking, man, it's gotta be the sweet tea. This is the weapon to finally take down Matt. And so I told him before I left that day, I said, Matt, when I show up for this tournament, I'm gonna walk in, I'm gonna look you right in the eyes, I'm gonna drink this sweet tea from Popeyes. And you're gonna know that it's not your day. There was this one time that I bought Wade a Papa sweet tea and he just went off and he beat me like, I don't know, like maybe three or four times in a row. I have no idea. But ever since then, Wade's been saying that this Papa sweet tea is what did it. So of course, he brings him a Papa sweet tea to the tournament and he just starts drinking it right in front of me and says, you know what? You know what? I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm like, whatever, bro. So that's what I did. I got myself a Papa sweet tea before that tournament. And man, it was good. After explaining the rules to the tournament, Mackenzie, the tournament director, started the tournament. Me and Wade both had buys the first round, but eventually I had my first match. My first match was just a warm up pretty much. I, he was actually very underrated. He actually had some really good talent. I could see him even coming back in the losing bracket, uh, kind of being the dark horse. For me, I was still warming up. I wasn't hitting every single one of my shots like I wanted to, but uh, I was able to get a hold of some balls and just jump out far enough in the lead to where if I made some mistakes, there wasn't anything to worry about. Just stay focused, stay into it, and sure enough, I was able to get the win in the first round. My first matchup of the night was against Caroline, who is Matthew's uh, ping pong student. For the months leading up to this tournament, I have been training Caroline. I have been preparing her for 
this tournament, I've been teaching her different kind of serves, different kind of strokes, and she has gotten really good. She may be one of the best girls I have ever seen at ping pong, and, and I believe that she has a very good opportunity at winning this tournament, even against me. Unfortunately, she plays Wade Simmons the very first round. But this could be a good thing or a bad thing. Bad thing is Wade knocks her out and then Caroline's like, I'm at the bottom. Or she plays Wade before Wade's warmed up. And if, honestly, if there's any match that Caroline's gonna beat Wade in, it's the very first match. So this could be a good thing. And sure enough, Caroline starts off really strong. So when Matthew told me that he was training up a student to, uh, to beat me in this tournament, I was kind of surprised at first, but I thought, okay, he's getting a little cocky. So it just added some fuel to the fire for me. And it was only right that I played her in the first round. So when the game started, uh, she started out on fire. After that, I think there's a turning point where she missed the table or went out with a shot. And from that point, I kind of took the offensive side, kind of got out of my game a little bit, um, and started hitting some shots I wouldn't normally hit, but it was working out well for me, and I think that's where the turning point happened in this game. I don't think it was really even close after that. Going into the next round, I was playing James Harden, and now this was the semifinals of the single elimination bracket. There is a double elimination, but I was playing James Harden and he was my spike ball partner. He's one of my best friends at LC. And we have been practicing for a long time leading up to this tournament. So I have gotten to play James a whole lot. But as soon as we started our game, as soon as we started our match in the tournament, James changed his playing style. He was playing uh, a lot more defensive than aggressive, which I thought was strange. And it was, it was working because I was messing up. I was wasn't expecting this defensive play from James and he was just getting balls back playing my mistake and sure enough it was working. But by the end of the first game I was starting to lock in and I started hitting my shots and sure enough it was enough to win the first game. Going into game two James once again changed up his game. He was playing extremely smart. He went from playing defensive and he started hitting some aggressive shots. I had to slow down, uh, regain control, stay focused, set up shots so I can get on the offense and sure enough, it worked. And by the end of it, I was hitting my shots and I won game two, bumping James to the loser bracket, putting me into the finals. The next matchup was against Ting, and I played Ting uh, many times before this tournament. He's a very defensive player as well. He likes to put a lot of, a lot of spin on his shots. So uh, for this game, I kind of went away from my defensive strategy that I usually play, and I worked a little more on the offensive side. So I was uh, hitting a little bit more slams, uh, going for the corners a little bit more, just being a little more aggressive, trying to hit the ball a little harder, trying to get more loose. Uh, this was my second matchup of the night. Uh, but I don't remember really having any struggle in this game against Ting. Ting's a very good player, but I didn't, I didn't really have any struggle against him in this matchup. Uh, I think I was pretty on in that point. I was having a good rhythm. Um, and the matchup worked well for me. I was able to work more on the offensive side and get prepared for what was next. For the finals is what everyone's been waiting for. However, it is double elimination, so this isn't the official finals, but it was the finals of like the single elimination bracket. The loser of this could win back into the grand finale. So I didn't have any pressure knowing that I could possibly lose here, but still be able to win back into the tournament. So I was able to just go full on out with it, not any nerves, and sure enough, I took advantage. Going into my matchup with Matt, I was definitely feeling some nerves going in. I was a little, little tight, a little nervous, because I wanted to try to be perfect with my shots instead of be loose and be more control of my own shots. Come on, Wade. Yeah, Matt. Hey, Matt, there you go, Wade. There you go, Wade. Let's go, Wade. Come on. 
small, Wade. All hail King Matt. Hey, all King Small. Come on, Wade. Wade, don't you put your problem. Come on, Wade. Come on, Wade. Oh, man, that was a good shot, Wade. He's wearing his head down. Come on. He gets her back. Yeah! Oh, don't Come on. It's supposed to hit you. Wade couldn't find anything to work against me in this finals. I was hitting my shots, I was getting good smashes, I was playing smart. I'm pretty sure I remember it was a 2 0 win for him. Um, but that game, I wasn't really myself. I wasn't playing myself, playing too scared, a little, a little timid. And uh, you can't play that way against Matt. You got to be loose, you got to force his hand, force him to make the bad shots, or else he'll really. Uh, take control of the game like he did in this one. After I beat James Harden in the semifinals, he took control of the loser's bracket, defeating opponent after opponent. Winning himself back to the top, where he would play against Wade Simmons. The winner would move on and play me in the championship. Coming off the loss to Matt, I had to face James in the, um, in the loser's bracket. Before this tournament, me, James, and Matt have been training for weeks in the game room every Tuesday and Thursday playing each other. So I was already, uh, I knew how, how James likes to play. I knew his style. <laughs> The whole time we played that match, I don't think the match is ever really endowed from my side, from my opinion. But uh, James is a worthy opponent. He played a lot. He's beaten me several times. Um, but playing that game really boosted my confidence. I played a little looser that game. I wasn't as timid like I was with Matt the first time we played. But coming off that game, I was able to go more on the offensive, hit some hit some shots I wouldn't normally hit again, and really loosen me up for uh, for the show with Matt coming up.
just couldn't connect. Wade was focused. Wade was being consistent. He was getting everything back. He was keeping the ball so low I couldn't lift up and really get good hard shots. I had to just kind of play his game and kind of lob it back because he was keeping the ball so dang low. Now Matt had the advantage here because he was undefeated and this was a double elimination tournament. So I, by rule, I would have had to beat him twice to take the championship. Um, this first game, I felt really in control the whole time. I was, I was playing loose, I was hitting shots, Matt was making mistakes. I was really, really had a lot of confidence in this match. Um, and I, I took the first, the first match from him. I didn't get a single game in the first series. He beat me 2-0 in the first series. So now here we are, I've won two, he's won two. Brought us to a final series, two out of three. First person to win two more games, takes the championship, wins this tournament. Will Wade win his first? Will I win my fourth? Here it is. fourth straight and final ping pong tournament at Louisiana College. But I'll say this, some of the greatest memories I have at Louisiana College are the countless hours spent playing ping pong with my friend Wade Simmons. Like and subscribe. <laughs>